Uh, oh, hello. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to this week's episode of Zach's Picks of the Week. You're watching the show once again here on another Music Monday that brings you the best in Canadian music. Hope you're all ready for it, because I am ready to review it right now here on the show. These are my top five recommendations, but plenty more are over on the website Canadian Beats, so be sure to go check it out. All right. And then these, uh, yeah, these are going to be my top five recommendations. It's a little windy out here, sorry. I'm just filming outside of the new place. And, uh, yeah, let's cut to our weather report on all the wildfires that are burning out of control in BC. Zach, how's it going out there? Ah, oh, that's hot. Well, that's just great, Zach. Thank you so much for checking in with us. And uh, thank you for checking in for the new music. Let's get into it here on Zach's Picks of the Week. Start with number five. Well, let's begin our list with an incredible group called Green Wing, who are proud to announce the release of their brand new single, Dark, to all your favorite streaming platforms now, and it was built upon the groundwork that was laid out by the band's 2022 debut album. That embodies an overreaching sense of pop lyricism against a hard-hitting rhythm section and some slamming guitars to finish it off. This new single was self-produced by the band at Rainy Day Recording Co., so be sure to go have a listen to the brand new track over on Canadian Beats or on your favorite streaming platforms now, but over on Canadian Beats, we give our single review of the brand new song Dark by Green Wings. So hope you guys enjoy it. And it's coming up right here with a clip on Zach's Picks of the Week, kicking it off at number five. Yeah, you're calling. Next up in the best new Canadian music here on Zach's Picks of the Week is going to include Montreal-based singer-songwriter Roxanne Reddy, and her debut solo album entitled Jaywalking is available now across all your favorite streaming platforms, and it was produced in collaboration with the incredible Charles David Dubois. This intense yet velvety LP represents the view that we have on life after overcoming depression. Her album was recorded at Pierre Margin Studios, and it features many incredible songs, including the one song that I'm going to be featuring here on Zach's Picks of the Week called Welted and that is coming up here on her brand new album Jaywalking by Roxanne Reddy. Be sure to go check it out in our five question interview with Roxanne over on Canadian Beats. It is linked in the description right down below there in this video. And coming up right now, this is going to be a clip. platinum certified country artist, songwriter, and producer Dan Davison, who has actually no relations to Pete Davison, I believe, but he is back with his irresistible 80s infused single, If These Streets Could Talk, available now across all your favorite streaming platforms. However, Davison has created his very own irresistible brand of modernized country music with the perfect amount of pop nostalgia to back it all up. This new single is definitely going to set the pace for his upcoming new country album, which is said to be released later this year. It's called 1980-something, so be sure to keep your eyes out for that very soon, but go and check out the brand new single If These Streets Could Talk Now across all your favorite streaming platforms or just on CanadianBeats.ca, where of course you can find a link to the description right down below there. And now we are going to check out a clip here on Zach's Picks of the Week, so I hope you guys enjoy it. And this is going to be Dan Davison right here with These Streets Could, sorry, If These Streets Could Talk right here on Zach's Picks of the Week coming up at our number three spot. If these streets could talk, could tell me which way I should go. So now it's time for this week's top two. So what do you say we call on down international touring artist and award-winning singer-songwriter Matt Epp? His 13th album is called Rolling Waves and his latest single off of that record is called Live Free and both of those are going to be featured this week here on Zach's Picks of the Week. His confessional songwriting and intimate performance style definitely gained him quite the worldwide following especially when he won the 2017 Grand Prize at the International Songwriting Competition. This brand new record was mostly recorded alone in this beautiful 
beautifully converted rural art church on the shores of Lake Huron. This place helped make Rolling Wave and Epp recount his spiritual journey aimed at the pandemic era of isolation. So be sure to go and have a listen to his brand new record over on Canadian Beats or on any of your favorite streaming platforms right now. But right now, you can also have a clip, listen to a clip here on Zach's Picks of the Week from the brand new single, Live Free. And you can also go and check out our interview with Matt Epp over on Canadian Beats. It's, it's linked in the description right down below. But right now, this is going to be a clip from Live Free here at number two on Zach's Picks of the Week. So I hope you guys enjoy Matt Epp and his brand new album, Rolling Wave, right now on all your favorite streaming platforms. And right now, here it is Live Free. Now it's time for my final pick of the week here on Zach's Picks of the Week, and that is going to go out to Canadian pop artist Kyle Richardson, who is excited to share his brand new single, Can You Hear Me? And yes, Kyle, we can hear you because you are on Zach's Picks of the Week at number one on this show. But you can also go find Can You Hear Me across all your favorite streaming platforms right now, so be sure to go check it out and add it to your favorite playlist today. But this song was actually written by Richardson and some fellow Canadians, Andrew Allen, and also Grammy-nominated Jeff Dawson. This new single will be coming off of Richardson's debut album entitled Louder Than Words, which will be arriving later this year, but we gave our full single review of the brand new song Can You Hear Me on Canadian Beats, so go and check out the link in the description down below, have a listen to it there, and go and learn up some more about this incredible artist named Kyle Richardson, who is here at Zach's Picks of the Week, number one spot this week, so hope you enjoy him, and this is going to be a clip coming from his brand new song right here, so tell your friends, go and listen to it, and be sure to like it here on Zach's Picks of the Week, but right now, this is going to be Can You hear me at number one. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Everybody listen now. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Everybody listen now. If we didn't have tomorrow, we would only have tonight. Show me that you're ready and we're doing it right. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Everybody listen now. Well, those are going to be my recommendations from the website Canadian Beats. So hopefully you enjoyed those hot new uh, picks of the week here from Zach's Picks of the Week. Uh, we will be back next Music Monday with more awesome recommendations to come up for you to listen to on your uh, n- week coming up next week. So tune in, tell your friends, uh, see what's uh, coming up next. And of course, peace, love, and good music. See you all in the next one. Check us out on CanadianBeats.ca or you can go find me on all my social media platforms. They should be linked in the description down below. And that's it for now. I'll see you all in the next one. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Zach's Picks of the Week, found it maybe a little bit helpful, finding some new music, and of course, that's it for me. What about you, Zach? How hot is it out there? Uh, that was, uh... That's hot. Okay, it's apparently really hot out there, so we probably should get him uh, some fire extinguishers or something. So, uh, thank you for watching Zach's Picks of the Week. We'll see you all later. Peace, love, and good music. All right, later. <laughs>